Next, she has a back that has a lot of flexibility. So what I'm doing here is I start to draw up and I'm drawing up by the shoulders. At the same time, elbows in, drawing up a little bit more, elbows in, drawing up a little bit more, elbows in, drawing up a little bit more, elbows in. And what happens? Pretty good cobra, okay? Um, at the same time, when you make these adjustments, you should be rooted. You should be in good posture. Now I'm going to ask you to go ahead into downward dog. Okay, she presses from the center of her palms. Go ahead and spread your fingers wide. Yep, that drops the center of her palms down. Okay, this is a good example of where you can start to make a sculpture. Now, what I'm going to do is from right here, I'm going to actually start to push, yeah, and bring your sit bones up as high as they can go toward the ceiling. Yeah, okay. Now, some people make an adjustment like this from here. You gotta be careful because some people have back problems to start with. You don't want to make them worse. Here's another way. Whoops. Okay. Um, how's that feel? Good. Okay. Next thing I do is I move around. Most people go after this right here. They start to say, well, what can I do to make this person's heels come down. One, don't worry about that. Two, allow your knees to bend a little bit, Jackie. Yep. Okay. Now, you know, there's a lot of things you can do here, but some people's heels, you watched probably Paul Grilly's video by now, some people's heels will not come down because of skeletal compression within the ankle joint. Okay, now just to see where we can get with this. Go ahead, Jackie, and step uh, forward with your feet a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to square one here and start to push back. Yeah. And right here, bend your knees a tiny bit. Good. This is about it. And I come back and I make an adjustment again. Okay, and it's going to be a little while before if those heels come down at all. Some people's heels will not come down because of skeletal compression. Okay, go ahead and step into lunge with your right foot. Excellent, and take your time, adjust yourself. Okay, now she didn't really need the blocks, but I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you have a student with limited range of motion. Two blocks. You could use, you know, it depends on the age of the student. Go ahead and put them right under your hands. Okay. For some students, it's going to give them a lot more chance to have better alignment here. I've had some students who use chairs for um, this particular posture just to get some leverage and some alignment. This is very good. Okay. In the back, knee, one thing. There's got to be a little bit of give here. So this back knee should not be locked. Some people sometimes, once in a while, they think that it should be locked. It should not be locked. The elbow should not be locked. It should have a little tiny bit of give. The, if you've got the, if you have the ability to bring the hands down, the centers of the palms should be down either on the block or on the floor. Okay, we're going to take the blocks away from Jackie. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to ask you, Jackie, to step forward with your left foot. And she's got a forward fold again. And breathe nice and smooth. We allow the knees to have a little bit of give. Stum stomach fairly close to the thighs, okay? This time, instead of me going right to the floor and going into a kneeling, what I'm going to do here is, now go ahead, bring, bring your sit bones up, yeah? And I'm not going to push hard, okay? Now, 
here we go again. I start to draw in. Come closer so you can see what's going on. Okay, and from right here, come all the way up into um, back swing mountain. So you're gonna inhale all the way up. Nice job. And then exhale. Mountain pose. And that takes care of us for today.